Hi Aries, happy new year. So this is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January, 2022. And it's going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As always, it's general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Just take what resonates if it does. Otherwise, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading if you'd like. All that information is in the description box. All right, Aries, let's see what is the overall message for you. And we have reinvention. Okay, so definitely something is feeling like it is reinventing itself or something is feeling um, like it's being born again or something is feeling fresh and new. And this could be within a particular connection that you have with somebody or it could be just within your own self. And of course, it could be the other person. All right, so yeah, do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of January, 2022, what is going on? Let's see. All right, starting off the reading for the main situation, we have the King of Swords crossed by the Six of Swords. Okay, so it feels like somebody here has made um, a decision, right? There's a lot of determinism or somebody is trying to make a decision, whether it be you or them. Um, but what seems to be the challenge is to actually go through with walking away from something or just leaving some kind of conflict behind, leaving something in the past and moving towards something that is going to be more peaceful, something that is going to be more happy. So I feel like somebody is has already made that decision, decision of what it is that they want to do when it comes to their happiness, but it's really just a matter of actually taking the actions and making that happen. So let's see for your energy, we have the Eight of Swords in your recent past the Seven of Swords in your current energy, and the Ace of Cups in your near future. For them, we have Death in their recent past, the King of Pentacles in the current energy, and for their near future, we have the Magician, and the potential outcome here, we have the Fool. Okay. So Aries, again, roles can definitely be reversed because the reading is general, okay? So let's see here, for you, it's like you were feeling trapped in a particular situation, um, possibly with this person or it could even be in a, in a separate situation that may have been influencing this, okay? It could be either or. So it's like something is happening right now. I feel like at the moment you appear to be moving away from this connection but it's like you're looking back at it almost like you feel like you're you're moving away from it or you're trying to move away distance yourself from it just so that you're not trapped but it's like it's not really what you want to do but you feel like you have to definitely though um, with the ace of cups being in your near future that's very beautiful that does show love it could even be self-love or it could even be love with the other person but it, it's not showing up as being a painful type of love so i don't see it as you know you being stuck here anymore i see you actually moving away from that stuck energy that you have been in so for the other person here there's some kind of an ending um that happened in the recent past again it could be um, in terms of the connection with you or it could be in terms of something else but there's a big strong ending here also some of you might be dealing with uh, with the Scorpio I also feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with another um, with another fire sign possibly with another Aries and or even an earth sign okay doesn't have to be this is just what's showing up here um, this person definitely feels like at the moment they are finding their own stability after following some kind of an ending which again may or may not be this connection either way there is something that this person is trying to manifest coming up and it, i mean the near future actually looks pretty good for the both of you i see you being in a place of love feeling at peace i see this person manifesting something 
And I feel like that's what this reinvention is. There's something new that is happening here, all right? Because for the potential outcome, we have the fool. So this is taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, jumping into the unknown. And it might even be that we're not supposed to really know what that is, although I will clarify. So let's see. But definitely that fool is feeling like that reinvention, so. Let's see the King of Swords with the Six of Swords. Which was for the main energies. All right, we have the Four of Wands, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. All right, so I love that we have both the King of Swords as well as the Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely concerning some kind of a commitment here. Possibly for some of you, it might even be um, in regards to family. Somebody is really, really determined. I feel like whoever this is, all right, because it's not very clear whether um, this is you or the other person, but whoever this is, this is somebody who has been deceiving themselves and not fully, like I said, not fully acting on that, on that decision. There could have been a lot of manipulation in this particular situation as well, all right, wherever this commitment was. Um, whoever it is though, not only do they know what they want, they're also able to see the situation clearly now. They're being, they're able to see how this manipulation was playing out or how they were even deceiving their own selves. And I feel like this person really wants to fight for what it is that they want and for what it is that they have already made up their minds about, um, at all costs. It's just that taking that step to move away from this is proving to be a little bit challenging. However, they are very, very clear as to what it is that is happening here and as to what it is that they want. So again, could be you, could be them. I'm, yeah, and for, I mean, even from the energies here, it really could be either one of you. I feel like it's going to be obviously different for each of you. Um, all right, let's see that Eight of Swords for your recent past. Ooh, and we have death. <laughs> okay, which is exactly what the other person also has in their energy. So regardless of whether this connection here is referring to the two of you or if it's referring to one of you and another situation, I feel like there has also been an ending between the two of you, at least to some extent, some kind of an ending here which, um, yeah, I see you as having been trapped or feeling stuck um, in this connection, even though, you know, there was this, this ending. Let's see death for them. So again, that's also Scorpio energy showing up a second time. Definitely who and for them, clarifying death, we have the world. Yeah. Um, it, very interesting because it's almost coming in as maybe this person here that you're dealing with like not only was there an ending between the two of you but I feel like there was also there may have also been a conclusion for another situation which is this other one that we've been talking about here which for some of you it might not be another one okay this whole reading might just be about you and another person everybody's situation is different so it's it's going to um reflect differently on everybody's situation. So again, just take what resonates, but definitely a very big conclusion here for the other person, an ending of a chapter, a big, big ending. And it's already happened, at least energetically, right? Like I said, if this is them here, um, th their minds are made up. It's just a matter of actually, okay, whatever it is that's done, leaving it, leaving it in the past. I, I just really don't get the sense that it's with you. Um, and I say that because, well, we'll see. We'll see, just by looking at the rest of these cards. But let's clarify, let's clarify them. So Seven of Swords for your current energy. Aries, current energy, Seven of Swords. All right, we have the Seven of Swords showing up again and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like 
this is, you know, you're you're trying to detach, right? You're it's like you're moving away, you're trying to escape this, or you're just trying to avoid the situation, possibly, you know, trying to get yourself just to not be attached to this or to not feel stuck to this because you feel like, you know what, like this is done, there is an ending, or that something just needs to change. And again, it's coming in as it it's like you walking away from this is taking effort. It almost feels like a forced ending. Yeah, it's like a forced ending. Like it's taking, it's requiring a lot of effort from you to like keep yourself away from this. Which, you know, the message that I'm getting with this is that it's okay um, because if, you know, this is, all you can do is try, right? You cannot force how you feel. You can force an ending. You can force yourself to walk away, but you can't force how you feel. And when you try to put in too much effort to control how you feel, like, like it can just make it worse. It's, what it's reminding me of is like, um you know like when when you're first learning to meditate and you're told clear your mind don't think of anything don't think of anything and the more you're being told don't think of anything like the more you're thinking because it it, it makes you anxious right it creates anxiety oh like i'm not supposed to think of anything well that's when i'm actually going to start thinking or if someone tells you don't think of this person and you keep telling yourself that well what are you doing you're actually thinking about them so it's coming in kind of like that so don't try to force how you feel Alright, let's see for them. Let's see this King of Pentacles. Alright, so for the King of Pentacles in their current energy, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Chariot. Alright, I see. So this is this person is in the process of finding their stability but mostly what i'm getting here is that it's almost like having to refind their stability after having lost a sense of stability um, or losing a sense of stability because they are dealing with this ending and so that kind of brought about a feeling of loss, a feeling of not really knowing how to handle the situation and it is, it's a little bit conflicting for them. It's a little bit conflicting because I feel like they might still be on the physical level still giving energy to that even though energetically that cycle is done, whatever that is. And again, I just don't feel like it is you. For some of you it might be, but that's just not what I'm getting here for the most of you. Again, though, there is movement that is happening, right? We have the chariot here. So something, whatever this is, this closing out, it's happening pretty quickly. It's happening pretty quickly, although this person is also feeling like they don't really know how to, to deal with it exactly. They don't know which way exactly to go, like how fast should I be going? Or, you know, which road should I take exactly? Should I do it this way? Should I go that way? There's a lot of a lot of conflict and it could even be that there's a lot of conflict, possibly tension and arguments with other people because of this. And again, it's like they're still there in some way physically, like physically still giving to this. But they're still feeling like this is like this is done and that there's some kind of a, of a loss here. All right, so let's see what's coming up. Let's see for, let's, yeah, let's continue on with their energy. Let's see this magician for them coming up because they're definitely making something happen here. What are they manifesting? All right, just one. Ooh, we have the Five of Cups. They're manifesting this ending, whatever it is. I feel like they're, it's it's like it's already happened, right? It, there's already been an ending, but as I said, I feel like physically they're still giving to this. And it feels like coming up, 
they, they're needing to fully process the loss of whatever that is and any kind of feelings that negative feelings that may come with that again for some of you it, it could be um referring to you let me get one more here the ten of pentacles yeah okay so with this whatever this loss is whatever this grief is from the past that they need to deal with um there's also this essence of manifesting a new ten of pentacles here some kind of a commitment and i do feel like for most of you that's 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 referring to you here let me see that ace of cups for you And for those of them that were in a, if, if this is for the other person that was in a commitment where they were trying to make a decision, this is really facing that ending and the negative emotions of that particular commitment that they were still giving to. Because I, I really don't see you showing up here in their energy. So I, that's why I'm saying I feel like for most of you, this is referring to something else. All right. So for you, for the Ace of Cups, we have the two of swords and the nine of wands. All right, really interesting because so you're it's like you're finding this place of love, right? You're you're gonna get that. You're having that. I feel like you're just not very trusting of it. And you there might be a little bit of resistance to that, whether it's with this person or somebody else or or with your own self. I feel like you you know the universe is giving you this this love in one form or another. It's going to be there. It's going to be presented to you. So the message for you here is, you know, to try to be open to it. Try to be open to it because there's definitely a lot of resistance here with that two of swords and nine of wands. Almost like you're like, nope, nope, <laughs> I can't trust this. And the message that I'm getting for you here is to just really go with the flow. You know, just be open. Be open. Keep an open mind to whatever it is that might come your way. All right, so let's see the Fool. And we got the Page of Swords. Definitely a new beginning here. A new beginning and you're being asked to keep an open mind, as I just said, with that Page of Swords. You know, um, approach it from a place of curiosity. There's a reinvention that is happening here. Definitely, definitely um, for you. I definitely also feel like it is also for this other person. So again, but you're gonna have to make your own discernment, all right? Um, with whatever it is that comes your way. But I'm seeing here the message is be open. Be open. Somebody's taking a leap of faith here, a risk. It's going to feel like something is new, like there's this new path. Just be open. Keep an open mind. All right, Aries. So if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. And we have the waxing croissant moon. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, have faith in your dreams. Keep an open mind. So that is it, Aries. I thank you so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love.